Hello, I'm Mario Vaden. Right over here is Jedediah Smith Redwood State Park. This is the church tree, as it's called, and uh, its diameter is about 22 feet at DBH, which is chest height. And for me, uh, this is one of the most fascinating trees at the Redwood Coast, not just because of its uh, diameter or its size, uh, but because of the inside and the opposite side of it, um, that in relationship to its size. So I'm gonna go ahead and take you over to the other side here in a moment. Let me go around. I only know of one other tree with this big of an opening inside. Um, in Jedediah Smith Redwood State Park, there's a tree called Caveman, and it has uh, a room on the inside approximately this size, actually bigger. Uh, it has a little bit lower doorway than this one, and uh, the caveman has two windows. Uh, this one has one doorway. I don't know if goose pen is the right word for this. This is bigger than a goose pen. This is the inside, and it's burnt and hollowed out. There's the doorway that I came in, and I guess you could call that a window. It's a little gap there. And so back full 360 degree turn here. And I'm gonna go ahead and start taking this up. I would say that that's about 30 feet tall up there in the center. It's uh, cathedral-like and water just drips down out of there, uh, seeping down through the inside of the tree. So I'm gonna measure this. I wanted to be sure that I didn't exaggerate uh, on the number that I mentioned inside the tree. And I've also told people before that uh, I thought it was about 18 feet on the floor for the width on the inside. So anyway, the uh, floor in here and measuring it with the uh, tape uh, shows 19 feet from west to east. And it shows 21 feet from north to south behind me on the inside uh, here for the floor space, the circle. And uh, the laser says that the vaulted ceiling in the center goes up 43 feet on that. So uh, actually that surprised me that it went up uh, that high um, in there. So anyway, this tree, uh, like I said, it, it's, I find it very fascinating. Uh, right here, right in this spot, the wood is only about eight to, t eight, eight to 10 inches thick. And then it fattens a little bit to maybe a uh, foot and a half and in a couple places, maybe two feet thick. Um, and that goes all the way around. So this tree, I'm guessing, probably weighs around 700,000 pounds. Uh, and so all that weight is resting on sort of like a yeah, cylindrical skeleton shell of wood and cambium. And then also that's the only place it's getting water from, whereas most uh, trees, say this one or a larger redwood that were solid with wood in the middle, they could bring up water throughout the whole thing. This one can't bring water up to the canopy, which in this case is fairly full. There's a lot of foliage up there. Uh, it's not coming up through the center because that's hollow. So all the moisture can only come out through the uh, this shell on the outside. And it does have a little bit of dieback on the top. I think it's lost maybe 20 feet um, where it died back maybe one dry year. And uh, that could be understandable if it's lacking uh, the inside and the ability to get water up. This tree's also on top of a ridge. Uh, so it's not in a valley. Um, it's surprising in that aspect too. This is a huge tree, not in a low spot. It's on the top of a ridge and uh, very old. And so if you find something like this, I'd, uh, be interested to hear, you know, what you found, how big it is, uh, what's special about it or amazing and its ability to withstand, um, you know, things that you can uh, teach about its tissue, uh, dimensions, um, et cetera. So there you go, the church tree, uh, Del Norte County. Have a good day.